Oh my god. Thank you. Yo, hey, everybody calm down. Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker, and look who it is. The wifey. It's the wifey, and guess what, you guys? Today is the very first video to where we're actually going to the bin store here, Black Friday Deals, where the wifey is gonna have her own GoPro, as you guys saw in the pictures over on YouTube. Uh, we posted a picture of her with her new GoPro, which is actually my new GoPro because she wanted me to have the newer model for whatever reasoning. I didn't mind either way, but she was like, no, you take the new one. So essentially I have the new one, but either way, you guys are gonna see her point of view uh, in today's video. So yes, I'm gonna go my left side, she's gonna go her right side, and I'm gonna kinda interchange it in between and try to make it as real time as possible. So as soon as I go left, I might cut back to her angle and then you know, a minute later, go back to mine, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna do my best because this will be my first time doing this. So I want you guys to comment down below whether or not I did a good job transitioning over from my point of view to her point of view, all that good stuff. So if you guys could please let me, you know, do that, it would help me out. Constructive criticism always works best. Big facts. So uh, with that being said, we are here at Black Friday Deals. Each item is gonna be $7. That means it could be a $1,000 item. It doesn't matter, it's $7. And we usually do pretty well here about 95% of the time. The 5% is very rare, but we usually do pretty well. Wifey, are you ready? Yeah. Are you excited about your own GoPro mm -hmm. POV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. With that being said, you guys, we have about 47 minutes before we actually have to line up and all that good stuff. So uh, wish us luck and uh, much love. Uh, also, too, real quick, we're so close to 5,000 subscribers. If you guys could, please hit that subscribe button if you honestly and genuinely enjoy these videos. Uh, much love, and let's go ahead and get uh, inside. Oh, my God. Thank you. stay in the line. I mean, yo, whoa. Good God. Yo, hey, everybody calm down. Y'all, the lady behind us. Thank you.
All right, guys, so we're going to focus on my wife's POV just for a minute because they just turned on the music, and you guys obviously know we do not want to get copyrighted. So, uh, so far, I've been transitioning back from my POV to her POV. You kind of see her camera pointing down just a little bit. It's because we didn't actually see where her camera was looking before we started recording. That is on me. That is my fault. Uh, but hopefully for next time, we will fix that. Um, however, you guys can kind of still see what she's getting. Um, at the very beginning, she found some Cards Against Humanity type stuff, uh, which is really good finds. Uh, obviously a couple brown boxes being thrown in because we're not sure what they are but that's the thing about bin stores you know you never know what exactly it is so it's better for you to throw it in your buggy and look it up later than to just be like oh it's nothing and then just throw it away you know what i mean so at this bin store each item is going to be seven dollars does not matter what it is it could be a million dollars it could be cash it could be a laptop it could be you know something that's from the dollar tree you never know that's the beautiful thing about uh, Amazon liquidation stores, bin stores, big retail uh, liquidation stores, whatever you guys realistically want to call this, I call it Black Friday deals. Um, but it's only going to be seven dollars, and that's that's the beautiful thing about it. Uh, one thing I will say though, we have scored really big here. I mean, we we've literally found numerous laptops. Uh, we found an Xbox uh, Series S. We have found uh, that Logitech wheel at the beginning that I found. That one that one already sold for like I think two fifty, I believe. I'm not 100 percent sure on top of my head, um, but I mean, we found. Uh, laptops, uh, iPads, we found phones. I mean, it's just absolutely insane what you guys can find at your local Amazon liquidation store um, around you. Uh, I know some places do not have them. I do know they are spreading like wildfire, so be on the lookout for them in your area. Uh, bin stores are just very uh, notorious for counterfeit items as well, so you always want to double check that. Um, you, but you can find some great stuff. I found brand new Carhartt stuff that was 100% authentic. It's because Carhartt didn't, uh, couldn't sell it in their store online, so they just had to liquidate them out to move in new products. Um, but that's just the, the beautiful thing. If you, if you guys do not show up, you never know what you're going to find. Now, I will say, I'm not saying you guys, you guys should just focus on the bin stores for your only sourcing opportunity. The, the more availability of what you guys have around you the better you are for example if you have goodwills near you go to the goodwills if you have a lot of garage sales go to garage sales if you have storage units do storage units i uh, don't limit yourself to one sourcing spot mainly because again there's gonna be a lot of competition at these reseller stores not just or i'm sorry not reseller stores but amazon liquidation stores not because of the resellers but people are also shopping for themselves like me and my wife we find stuff all the time in here just for us as you guys can see here she's picking up all the cocoa melon not worth anything oh uh, well i'm sorry they are worth something but for seven bucks they just were not worth anything i want to say they go for about five bucks a piece so somebody on dollar day or 50 cent day or even fill a bag day will can come here and actually make some pretty good profits or even take it down there to the flea market i do know that's what a handful of people here do they take some stuff from the bin store for cheap on a dollar day 50 cent day two dollar day whatever and they'll buy them up and then they would put them uh out there in the flea market and then they would resell you know make three four five bucks a piece on each item so it's pretty it's pretty cool on on different ways you can resell so enough about my wife let's go ahead and transition into my footage all right guys we are in my footage now <laughs> so uh one thing i do want to say about these amazon liquidation stores some days are going to be better than others there's going to be some days where you get maybe 10 items uh but don't force yourself to buy something because you feel like it will sell eventually the thing is about your money you want stuff that's going to sell relatively fast in my opinion something needs to sell within three months if it doesn't sell within three months um you need to like highly discount it you know depending on what it is of course if it's like video games you know that's understandable but like if you bought like a third party brand like see that brand right there in front of us called Hygen H-I-G-E-N not sure if it's worth anything but just using that using that as an example it's not a recognizable brand that I've noticed and I wouldn't buy that if it goes for let's say 20 bucks and I'm spending seven I, it is a double up but it's going to take six months to a year to sell I probably will not pick that up even though there are some items I will pick up but I'm just saying if you guys are like new to this reselling stuff be wary with your money if you guys don't have to spend it don't spend it save that money for garage sales if that, if that makes sense so right here I found uh, some kind of bath and tub shower set uh, which actually has already sold sold within about a month um, and then uh, the DVD set is always something to look out for at these liquidation stores. DVD sets tend to go for about $30 or more. Uh, some can go for a little bit lower, but I think on average about $30. I think that's what I would say. Uh, but we always pick up DVD sets from here. They always tend to sell. They're very, very, very good money makers because everybody wants that uh, TV show to watch. Sometimes they get discontinued from uh, streaming platforms. Netflix, they don't make the TV show no more. They take it off the platform or whatever the case is. That's why people like the physical copy of the DVD sets. 
Um, but one thing too, uh, I want to give you guys some quick tips and tricks. I kind of say it throughout the whole thing. Uh, look at this, because I found a pair of Tevas. You never know what you're going to find. Keep in mind, we are in the store for at least 10 minutes now, and these are just sitting there. I, I do grab them. I put them in the bin, but I'm, I'm going to re-grab them, I promise. <laughs> but... Um, but in all seriousness though, so tips and tricks, what me and my wife like to do, I go left side of the store, she goes right side of the store. We like to call it divide and conquer. We want to explore as much like real estate as we can. You know, we want to like search each and everything as much as we can and then meet back up in the middle. That way we divide, right? We search all the bins around us and then we meet back in the middle to kind of conquer our whole area that we, that we source from, right? <laughs> so uh, that's just kind of like what we like to call it divide and conquer uh, another thing is too if you guys are constantly sitting at one bin picking through and you're just kind of like oh i don't know what this is worth whenever you get towards like the end of your sourcing trip it's better for you to kind of casually go through the bins like how i'm doing i'm going through them kind of looking for other stuff that people did not pick up but at the very beginning you always want to anything that intrigues you you always want to just throw it in your buggy look it up later worst case scenario you can look it up it's not worth anything you put it back but it's, it's going to be even worse for you if that item was like a hundred two hundred dollar item you put it back because you didn't recognize it or you just did not think it was worth anything and then guess what you just lost out on that money that you could have just literally looked up later so that's the one of the beautiful things is about um putting all the stuff in your buggy that you potentially might want is that you don't necessarily are committed to buy it you can always just look it up um but that's just the, the the few tips that I can give you. Just scan the top, throw whatever you can in the buggy that you think will sell, but don't just throw anything in there, obviously. But at the end of the day, just be cautious of what you're buying. Do your own research, and I promise you, research will make you some great, great money in this business. Charlie, I might got something for you. So pick this thing right here. I didn't know if you would want that. It's a foam bath bath rug. And then look at the shoe rack. I didn't know if you want that in front of the house. Okay, so grab that and grab that on top. Alright guys, so we found a total of like 35 items for $262.15. Uh, we found some really good stuff. The wife did really good. And we will show you guys everything at the house with a recap. So let's get it. Alright guys, check it out man. We're back at the house. And uh, here we are. Yeah, I'm back at the house. There's a beautiful truck. The wife already left. She went back over to my brother's house because she's taking care of his house while he's overseas uh, doing some work. But um, you guys, let me tell you, we did pretty, pretty good. But before I get into this stuff, I do want to show you guys. We did rearrange just a little bit. Uh, I'm moving all these chairs down to my personal storage unit once I get them listed. Um, but we added an extra rack right here. Look at that. Boom. Another rack. So it's finally starting to pan out the way I want it to just you know at the same time I still got to do something with this we actually won this on auction um uh you guys will see that in a later video but um but yeah it's kind of a little messy right here but those are all empty totes there these are all empty totes so your boy's been working very very hard so long story short this is everything we got I think we spent 260 something dollars either way you guys will see that towards the end of the video uh, I got a handful of things that we are keeping for ourselves and the rest of the stuff is going to be uh left to resell i will show you guys a couple bi uh, big hitters we got this thing right here that i found the wife found this and this and then i found this so those are like the four big bangers here um that are worth some good money then the rest of the stuff you know is good filler items the pre-workout stuff is always good cards against star wars all you guys will see all that here in a sec but let's go ahead and get started so over here is the stuff that we're keeping um this stuff is uh expired but that's fine it expired in january but these are basically multivitamins i've been working out a little bit more so i'm gonna start taking these so i figured why not just start taking them uh every day uh this right here is a witcher wild hunt mug uh for the wife the wife loves the witcher stuff so she got herself a little a little mug here which is pretty cool uh, Toy Story 1 through 4. Very cool. Uh, this is only worth about $8 free shipping. We pay 7 bucks for it, but we're pretty much going to sit down and just kind of have like a little date night and just watch all four of them whenever we can. Uh, she said this is from the Lord of the Rings or something. I'm not too sure, but this is literally right up her alley. She, ooh, 
she would hate me if I uh, damaged it. But uh, she likes these type of books. She she has a huge book collection, so uh, that's pretty cool. She also found me some bubble mailers. It's not money earned, but it's money saved because that means we don't have to order them off of Amazon or some other website. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm curious on how many are in here. There's usually around like 25 to 50. This one looks like more like 50. But uh, either way, that's pretty cool. And we also got this for the bathroom. We got some foam bath rug sets by Threshold. I don't know if that's a good brand or not, but it's brand new. I figured uh, it's 17 by 24, so it's decently big. And then look at this. We found this in the restock bin. Uh, Threshold, also the same brand. Stackable three-tier shoe rack uh, in front of our house, or in front of our door. We have like a very cheap Walmart, like white one. Nothing wrong with it. It just, I wear size 14s and they just don't fit on them like straight like this. So we have to put them sideways so they'll fit on them. Um, but this is really cool. It matches her boho theme and for $7, uh, you can't beat that. All right, small little mistake here. We have this 144 chalk stick, uh, little chalk things for by, by Crayola. I meant to give this away to my boy Antonio. Um, I still might hit him up to see if he wants this. Uh, we got it for seven bucks. I mean, it's worth like $30 or so um, on eBay and Amazon, but uh, it is brand new. Um, I gave one away to one family for their little, for the, for their daughter. And uh, it's just not worth shipping out, um, if I'm being honest. Um, but then the rest of the stuff is going to be for reselling. I think we did pretty darn good. So let's go and start off, uh, start off here with the DVD stuff. Uh, we have Lucifer, seasons one through four. One, two, three, yeah. So seasons one through four. It is slightly a little crushed. The first DVD says it's a little, a little bent, but that should be fine. Um, should do pretty well. This right here we've never found before. The complete first seasons of Outlander one through five. So we will definitely see what that goes for. Keep in mind, everything you guys, uh, we spent $7 per item, just so you guys know. This right here isn't like a big hitter, but this is the Justice League Complete Series uh, DVD set. Uh, it goes for about 20 bucks, uh, free shipping. So not like a whole lot of money, but it will sell pretty good. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, I guess we'll just start with like the smaller stuff. Um, this right here is a tub and shower plum kit by Brass Craft. It is 0267. All the pieces are in there. And there was three listed and two sold. I cannot remember what the price was, but I think uh, it's going to do pretty well. Um, next, we have this Yu-Gi-Oh! Hero Strike Structure Deck. So, I don't know. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know what that would be worth, but we would definitely put a sold comp on there. If it's not worth much, then I might keep that for myself. Uh, they had a few of these in the bins. Uh, somebody ended up getting a few of them. Uh, but there's the Smart Room Sensors by Honeywell. Uh, this right here will sell pretty quick. Honeywell stuff usually does pretty well. Uh, and then you got this Taromas portable air compressor. This is going for like 50 to like 70 bucks. So I was very surprised about that. So I, that's the reason why I picked that up. You can never go wrong with an air compressor nowadays for your car. Um, and then we got two big things of protein. This one was a little weird because anytime you see like this weird barcode, was, was, it's, it's a barcode, but it's not an actual scannable one. It's always kind of you know, weary for me, but I looked up the name, Carlisle Whey Protein, uh, 25 gram, et cetera, et cetera, and, the, and it was actually really good. Sell-through rate is really, really good. I think it's over 100% sell-through rate. So that's why we ended up getting this. All right, and uh, also too, none of this is expired, by the way. We, we always check that. Uh, this right here is a chocolate naked whey grass-fed, uh, I guess this is uh, protein as well, but is there like a brand? I guess that's the name of it, Naked Whey, maybe? I am not too sure, but there is a barcode there, so that's always good. Um, but uh, yeah, so never go wrong with, with protein stuff, just so you guys know. Um, this right here, I wasn't too sure. I, I'm going to do a little bit more research on this, but this says it is, let's see here. So it's called Even Flow Medium Flow Nipples, and they're in a lot of six. So I'm not too sure. Here you go, right here. It says six balance plus wide grande medium flow nipples. I'm not big into baby stuff, but um, I think I don't, I don't know. I just figured there's, there's a lot of six. I think I saw one box selling for like 12 bucks, and there's six of them, so I'm not too sure. We'll definitely do some more research on that, and you guys will see the sole comps. This right here is a uh, Whitcop Medicus Air bicycle seat. Um, this is actually really surprised me. I can't remember what it goes for, but there was like 100% sell through rate. Um, on this and I want to say it's going for like 18 bucks plus shipping somewhere around there But the fact that the sell through rate was extremely high. That's the reason why I bought it uh, Also, too, if you guys know these I bought these uh two weeks ago these aura so lean and so clean like protein things They are not expired. 
Um, but what's really cool about these, I, I bought like five of them or six of them uh, two weeks ago. We missed last Friday, obviously. And so I was like, they had a bunch more, but I was like, you know, let me just get four more to make it like an equal 10 of them that I have. Um, and I actually just sold one for 18 bucks plus shipping. So we're going to assume that's what these are going to go for. 18 bucks uh, plus shipping. Then we got four more of those. The wife, you found this, this post gym BCAA recovery matrix. We low key might keep this because I've been working out and I need some more BCAA stuff. Um, so I might, I might end up keeping that. We will definitely see. You guys will see on the screen whether or not I'm keeping that or not. All right, let's go and get into the cards against yada yada yada. So uh, we have four of these cards against Star Wars. Um, I sell these over on uh, Macari, um, and they do pretty well. And then we got two game against Simpsons. So I think that's really cool. Um, you know, really cool card games. And we got two of those. And then we have cards against friends. So I think these will do really well. Um, I actually have cards against Disney and Star Wars down here. So I think these are going to do pretty well, if I would say so myself. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these shoes. I, I, I don't remember on this brand, but it's called Teva. I swear I've heard you, other YouTubers talk about this brand. I could be wrong, but for seven bucks, I, I figured it was worth the gamble. I did not look these up. Uh, so the model number on these, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's called, so it's Teva 1019180, and they are size 12s. So hopefully we can find the model number on this. It does come with the box. It does. Um, however, the box is just really messed up. So I just don't see the point of selling them with the box. But we will definitely see if it adds any value. The next thing um, are going to be the next four or the next four things are going to be big bangers. So we're going to roughly go through the least expensive to the most expensive, at least to my knowledge. So um, this right here is a PE civil reference manual. Now, if you guys look at it, it is slightly used um obviously there's some there's some wear there um but in pre-owned condition this thing right here was going for 100 dollars consistently over on ebay i can only imagine what it's going to, uh going over on amazon um but a hundred dollars you guys for a pre-owned version i'm telling you right guys right now look out for books like this because there is some insane money in books and people overlook this type of stuff this was sitting in the bins probably for a good 30 minutes before we found it and i kid you guys not this stuff does money, like literally makes so much money off of books like don't be afraid to look up books especially if it's like that thick it's a, it's a very thick book but how to put a number on it that's probably who i don't know maybe 10 12 pounds so you guys understand what i'm saying be on the lookout for books all right so the next expensive thing I'm, i want to say this is going to be the the second least expensive one this right here is a hwk motorcycle pants so maybe like hawk uh and there it is right there. It says HWK Motorsports Apparel. And size large, inseam 32. So that's basically what they are. So the wifey found those. And I think she's saying these things are going for like 140, 150. I don't remember, but you guys will see that soul comp. Then the last two things. What's really cool about this, the four items that we found. Two of them I found and two of them the wife found. So, And the wife is just always kills it with this random stuff that I would never think about picking up but um this right here is actually brand new i already opened it up this is a boss dd-3t digital delay guitar pedal yeah guitar pedal you guys this thing is brand spanky new i'll open it for you guys again but look at that beautiful stuff you guys brand new on the inside and this thing's going for anywhere between 150 to like 170 dollars uh brand new so you guys i, I don't know how the wifey does it but make sure you guys give her a shout out in the comments right now in the live chat and be like, you go, Charlie, something like that. Because she she, she definitely second guesses herself a lot, um, but she does, she does find some really good quality stuff. All right, then last but not least, we did save the best for last as far as monetary value. I still think this right here is a crazy find. Uh, but we got this Logitech G920 race car uh, steering wheel with the pedals. I did open it up. It is brand spanking new, you guys. I don't know how... It's brand new, but it's brand new. Um, this thing right here, I was looking at it, and you're looking at it anywhere between $180 all the way up to like $220, somewhere, give or take. But this one is brand new. There is some wear on the boxes, obviously. So we'll figure out what the value of that's going to be. But for $7, that is a steal. So again, I know what you guys are thinking. Sometimes, you know, your bin stores near you don't have the, as good of stuff as we do. Um, and, and that could be true because there are some better bin stores and stuff like that better than others but i will say though this one just stays consistent with us and that is the reasoning why we keep going back um 
but with that being said that's everything we found uh i will let the future brandon do the recap for you guys right now and do the full breakdown so much love you guys i appreciate you guys and uh, i don't know if you guys can tell by the georgia humidity but i'm sweating uh really bad so uh future brandon take it away all right you guys check it out man i'm gonna do the further breakdown that i've been doing um a lot lately uh just kind of show you guys how much we have left to sell what is already sold that type of stuff so uh throughout that whole trip we spent 262 dollars on that entire haul we found some really really good stuff and pretty excited to share that with you guys so uh, as you guys saw everything in the video we spent 262 dollars and we walked away with 1191 dollars worth of merchandise and with that being said we have already sold 857 dollars worth of items which puts us in the green at 595 dollars which leaves us with 596 dollars worth of merchandise left to sell so we're already in the green that haul was pretty good we didn't spend a lot of money and uh, we still have almost 600 dollars left to sell so um that is the breakdown and uh yeah pretty easy so much love thank you guys so much for all the love and support man i believe we're just shy of 5400 subscribers i think we're like three away so uh, hopefully we'll hit that during this premiere of this video uh much love thank you guys so much for the love and support man you guys are the one of the best communities i've ever been a part of and the fact that we built this from the ground up um honestly give you guys self a round of applause a pat on the back because without you guys i don't know where i would be i don't know what kind of motivation i would have but you guys genuinely and truly give me so much motivation to learn as much as possible and spread that positivity and and spread my knowledge to you guys as much as possible you know what i mean um a lot of information out there is a lot of rinse and repeat stuff but i'm picking up certain things that i've never even heard of so you know it's like i feel like i'm coming into my own self when it comes to reselling um you know shout out to the other youtubers who have taught me and uh, shout out to you guys for just keeping me motivated and keeping me on my toes and constantly sourcing and doing all this type of stuff for you guys because genuinely like i said i appreciate each and every one of you guys that's why i comment on every single comment because you guys are part of my family now uh, whether you guys think think you guys are part of my family or not you guys truly are so um but yeah just big ups to you guys thank you guys so much for the love and support it's your boy brandon also known as georgia picker we'll catch you guys next video <laughs> much love oh, no.